Hello and welcome to Live in the Solution. I'm Mary Trimble and I'm here with your readings for June the 18th through June the 24th. If you haven't been here before, welcome and thank you so much for stopping by. Stay till the end because I do an astrological report, then I do the uh, your horoscope report, your horoscope uh, reading and then, or what we call tarot scopes, right? And then at the end, I'll pull a love uh, card for those, for one, for those are in who those of you who are single and and then one for those of you who are in relationships so um don't forget to stay to the end if you are coming back guys i love you i appreciate you Mwah! thank you so much for coming by um listen please don't forget to like the video share it on your social media uh comment and subscribe if you haven't already and um listen uh this these are general readings first of all they're for your sun moon and rising so i'll have links in uh, in the show more section then uh this is a general reading guys take what you know resonates with you and leave the rest keep it moving <laughs> and maybe it's just not for you this week but just stop by next week it might be there maybe just part of the reading will be for you you're gonna know it'll resonate with you now um what else if you so this is a general reading if you'd like a personal reading um the information will be right here <laughs> um Click on that and that'll give you information on how to get a personal reading with me. Now, check me out on Patreon. It's another way to support me. And Instant Go. You can contact me around the clock on Instant Go. Ask me a question and I'll get right back to you. Okay, so the astrological report. Now, on Monday, we've got Neptune, which is a very slow moving planet. It's going retrograde. Now, Neptune is the plan it's an it's very ethereal the energy I'm just I'm not going to get too technical but what I will say is that it's going to be very kind of dreamy and ethereal and unfocused <laughs> it's going to be very distracting we'll probably see the world through rose-colored glasses not bad right I'm an, I'm into that um, so now the 19th Mercury in Cancer um, is in a lovely aspect to Jupiter in Scorpio and Neptune in Pisces. This is a grand water trine. This is a beautiful time to have deep, meaningful conversations and deep connections with people. It's a very emotional time. Um, and then on the 21st, the sun goes into Cancer. Yay! Happy birthday, Cancer! Ah, I'm losing my voice. Happy birthday, and I'm a Cancerian, so happy birthday to me. <laughs> um, so listen, Gemini is still Gemini's birthday until the 21st, and so uh, Gemini will get an extra card uh, this week, and Cancer will get an extra card also. Um, now, Venus in Leo is opposing Mars in Aquarius. Now, Venus and Mars are lovers, aren't they? They're, you know, men are from Mars and women are from Venus. So this is kind of going to be an interesting uh, dynamic going on as they're opposing. So it's almost like a seesaw, right? Um, whenever, whenever planets are opposing each other, sometimes you adopt more of the other planets, uh, you know, energy, and then, then you'll adopt the other planet, you know, it's very backwards and forwards. Um, so I'm going to leave the astrological report right there and let's go to your reading, shall we? Hello Libra and welcome to your reading for June the 18th through June the 24th. And the first card up for you is the temperance card, darling. Everything in moderation. This is like balance, right? But I have a feeling, okay, so you've got the Knight of Cups, right? He's coming in and offering like some love or something. But what I'm getting is that this is an opportunity. He's coming in with an opportunity for you, right? This beautiful knight in shining armor. This is saying, listen, just, you know, take it easy. Don't jump in the deep end. Uh, hold tight. You know, look, she's kind of hanging there in a very kind of uncomfortable, unbalanced way, imbalanced. So, and, and definitely there's 
fire and water in this card and she, it's almost like mixing the alchemy so this could be and look what that's really interesting look fire and water I feel that you've got this uh, opportunity but I think that you kind of have to take it slow so maybe somebody's coming in for you some of you um, who are single <laughs> hey for that matter some of you in relationships but this is saying take it slow breathe and balance don't go don't jump in don't jump in the dive in, uh, don't dive in the deep end is what it's saying so just you know hold back get to know the person first and the next card you've got is the ten of wands that's saying that you've got I feel that you've really got a lot going on Libra too much going on it's like you are taking on too many responsibilities and this card is saying really delegate right you've got to because this is blocking you from reaching where you, from going where you want to go it's almost like you've taken on all this responsibility and and you've said yes to all these projects or whatever it is these jobs or whatever it is that you've said yes to and and you've done it so you can get further but in actual fact what it's doing is blocking you from getting where you want to go and you're kind of not seeing it but this is what's going to happen you really need to kind of drop some of this baggage because you've got the tower clarifying it and the tower is like it's burning down the tower burns down and it burns down so that something more incredible can take its place right it's always look the tower burns down because it needs to go it's time this has got to go this is like quick energy coming in and um Look, the tower doesn't feel good. I'm not going to lie. It's not, but it's unavoidable. We all experience the tower. How we get through the tower is a testament to um, how we can cope with life in general or in the future. So when you are accepting of it, this reminds me of a good friend of mine who's a Libra, actually. His apartment burned down and uh and we all showed up to help him the next day and it was quite you know traumatic an artist and all his work was you know destroyed a lot of his works i've got a lot of his work around here but his whole life changed and it changed for the better you know he ended and it wasn't didn't feel good obviously at the time but there were moments of incredible um you know i mean all the help and support that he got from the, from his friends and community it was pretty amazing and his life did change for the better it just didn't feel like that at the time you know um now the next card that you have is the magician so darling some people call him the trickster i think that he is a co-creator right he creates this magic out of nothing but this really is something because he's got all four elements. He's got water, fire, air, and um, earth. All the elements. So this is saying you've got all the elements. You can create the life that you desire. You really can. You've just got to maybe manipulate them a little. You know, the energies. It's co-creating. It's using what you have. It's like giving somebody lemon and they're going to make lemonade out of it. It's that kind of thing. You have everything. You don't feel like you have everything sometimes after the tower, but you do. And look, clarifying it is the fall, which is the leap of faith. This is just a beautiful new, think of this new life as an adventure. Now you can think of it, oh my God, I've had to do everything over. What am I gonna do, blah, 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 blah. Or you can think of, oh wow, this is really kind of exciting. It's all new and where is this gonna lead me? Now it can be that energy or it's like, oh my God, where is this gonna lead me? See the difference in the energies? <laughs> the fool is like, where is this, there, where is this path gonna lead? This, there's an adventure down here. <laughs> Libra, I'm not going to lie, it's going to be a challenging for some of you. 
it's going to be challenging this week but you know the change is there and when you embrace it and you accept it listen most of the pain is in not accepting the change right it's like okay you know pick yourself up dust yourself off and start all over again and say okay darling live in the solution that's why i call my business live in the solution.com darling we're going to do a whispers of love for libras in relationships let's see those Librans. Sorry, first of all, it's the single Libras. Single Libras. What wonderful messages, guidance, and gifts do we have for single Libras? Oh, there it is. Okay, we have. Oh, look at that. This is the single Libra. Spiritual connection. This relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. You know, when you meet someone and you feel that you've known them forever? So maybe some of you have just met, well, that's what it says. Look, you've met somebody. It's telling you to take it slow and get to know them. This is a beautiful opportunity, right? And that's what this is. It's somebody that you've known from another lifetime. It's very deep and that's why you kind of want to rush in. You want to dive in the deep end, but don't take it slow. The whole fun and the, and the joy in getting to know someone all over again. Uh, now let's do... Uh, pull a card for Librans in partnerships, right? Let's see. Libras in partnerships. I'm going to say partnered, partnered Libras. Let's see what wonderful blessings, guide, guidance and messages do we have for partnered Librans. Let's see. What do the whispers of love angels have for you? Partnered Librans. Let's see what we have. Oh, there it is. Oh, the union of hearts. There is a connection of love that defies explanation. It's almost like you've got the... I think love is kind of coming in for all of you. Um, so this is partnered relationships this is look so entwined growth together as one but separate gorgeous it just defies explanation what a beaut what beautiful Im imagery so this is your relationship that you are part the people you, the person you're partnered with that's beautiful and it's almost exactly the same as the single libra Libra, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you. Please don't forget to like this video, share it on your social media, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm oh, sorry. Fireworks, darling. Mwah. I love you all and I'll see you next week. For a personal reading, please go to www.liveinthesolution.com.